in graphing a cosine function we are going to follow through with the same uh, pattern so I am going to say the cosine function in general form is the amplitude times cosine of bx so a is equal to one half and b is equal to two pi so we know that the amplitude is one half and we also know that the period is going to be calculated so the period is calculated 2 pi divided by b since our b is 2 pi 2 pi divided by 2 pi is going to give me 1 so the period is going to be 1 unit so now let's talk about the transformation so we have a vertical shrink by a scale factor of a half and we also know that we have a horizontal shrink by a scale factor of 1 over 2 pi so if you recall that pi is 3.14 so 2 pi is 6.28 so this function really is 1 half times cosine 6.28x and since we are multiplying by a number greater than 1 the scale factor would be the reciprocal that's the reason why we say it's a horizontal shrink by a scale factor of 1 half so again let's make the unit circle because again we are only going to use four points on this unit circle so we have a zero radian a pi over two a pi we have a three pi over two and then we have a two pi so the order pairs for these are going to be one zero and zero one negative one zero and the last one here is going to be zero negative one we are concerned with the um, x values because those are my cosine functions so those will be the values that will give me um, the original graph or the um, y equals or f of x equals cosine x values and then afterwards I need to do my vertical shrink the horizontal shrink is going to be considered when I label my x-axis so I'm not going to label my x-axis as pi over 2 um, pi and 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi but I'm already going to label it with my horizontal shrink so I am going to say that here are my x values and here are going to be my f of x without my vertical shrink and then here are going to be my g of x values that will consider the vertical shrink so as I said when I plug in my x coordinates they will already be with the horizontal shrink so I put in my value in the center again as zero so I know that the period or the last value in the period is going to be one now I need to find a half of that so that's one half then I need to find a half of the half which is a fourth and then I need to find three quarters of the period which is three fourths so notice that when our period is 2 pi, we have 2 pi, half of that is a pi, and a quarter of that is pi over 2, 3 quarters of 2 pi is 3 pi over 2. However, our period this time is a 1, so when we find the half point, then we find the quarter point and the 3 quarter points, 
we already considered our horizontal shrink in our table of values. So now let's fill in the negative side. So it's negative one fourth, negative one half, negative three fourths, and negative one. So I also would like you to realize that this last number here is always going to be whatever value you get for the period. So let us write period over here. Then this is going to be half of period. Then this is the three quarters of period. And then this is the one quarter of period. So you're going to take the number that is the re representing the period. You're going to multiply it by a half, a quarter, and three quarters to find your values, your x values. So now let's fill out our y values. So at 0, uh, we have 1 at a quarter point, or at pi over 2, we have 0 then we have negative 1, and then we have 0, and then we have 1. So again, uh, when I'm finding these y coordinates, I am really finding, um, I'm really finding the cosine values around the unit circle, because I already shrunk the um, period by 1 over 2 pi. So let's go ahead and write this on the other direction. So here is 0, negative 1, 0, and 1. So in this case, because my graph vertically is shrunk, I'm going to say that 1 on the y-axis y is here, and here is 2, and here is negative 1 and negative 2. So it's just a little bit easier to see on the graph how we shrink it vertically. So I'm going to first graph the uh, parent function. However, let's label our, our, uh, our um, coordinate plane. So I'm going to call this point to be 1 fourth, this point to be 1 half, this point to be 3 fourths, and this point to be 1. Those are coming from the x values of the table, right? So this is negative one fourth, negative one half, this is negative three fourths, and this is negative one. So at zero we have one, at a quarter we have zero, and then we have negative one, zero, and one. Going backwards is zero, negative one, zero, and one. So let us make our nice curve and this is going to be our cosine curve so this here is f of x equals cosine of x and then we are going to graph our um, g of x so for the g of x we are going to have to take the half of each of these um, y coordinates so here is a one half a zero and negative one half a zero a one half zero negative half zero and one half so half zero negative zero and half zero negative half zero and a half so now i'm going to graph my vertically shrunk graph so let's go ahead and graph this with a curve and we are going to label the group blue graph as g of x equals one half times cosine 2 pi x. And I want to go back and change something on the previous labeling. So let us label this one here because we already considered our horizontal shrink. So this is going to be cosine 2 pi x 
for the original graph. The next four slides are monitoring progress problems, so please try working them out before you look at the slides to check your answers. On this slide, the yellow graph represents the parent function without any kind of horizontal stretch. And the black graph is the one that represents your actual G of X graph. So this, in this core concept, we are going to talk about um, graphing y equals sine b times x minus h plus k and y equals a times cosine b times x minus h plus k. Just like previously, a is going to give us our vertical stretch or shrink, as well as it's giving us the amplitude. The absolute value of a is giving us the amplitude. b is going to give us our horizontal stretch or shrink. And just like before, h is the horizontal translation, and k is the vertical translation and here too h is the horizontal translation and k is the vertical translation so to graph y equals a times sine b times x minus h plus k or y equals a times cosine b times x minus h plus k where a is greater than zero and b is greater than zero follow these steps identify the amplitude a the period 2 pi over b, the horizontal shift h, and the vertical shift k of the graph. Draw the horizontal y equals k line, which is called the midline of the graph. And step number three, find the five key points by translating the key points of y equals a times sine over bx, or y equals a times cosine over bx horizontally, h units, and vertically k units and then draw the graph through the five translated key points.